busy market day and this is when you get yeah you have all manner of proselytizers out here I can see a Hare Krishna giving out books people avoiding him some people talking to him and one young guy with a book what's he doing with this book we're giving out books today. All right. Um, just, just hold it. Okay. We, I'm not a salesman, so we don't sell it. But I'm a, I'm a monk staying at High Christian Temple, and this book's about um, meditation, yoga, yeah, um, yeah. karma. You know what goes around comes around. Oh, so are you with the with them over there? Harry yeah. Krishna. Yeah, yeah. You seem quite young to be involved. Of. Were you brought up? I'm, in I'm it? new to it. Yeah, I was born in the movement actually. Oh, you're uh, born My grandfather into it. was. Uh, my grandparents were initiated by this spiritual master, this guru. Oh, I've seen his face before, so um, he was he was the guy in charge of the whole thing. Well, or no, no, he came, it, it's been in, the religion's been in India for, um, you know, since the beginning of time, but he brought it to the West. Uh, 50 years ago, he preached on his own to the West and uh, spreaded the movement around the world. He traveled the world 13 times at 70 years old. <laughs> Or the Swami Pra... pra I can, yeah. I can never pronounce it. Wow, so you already know about pra, it. Well, I know he's, he's dead now, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. But he died in the 80s so, or something. So, you know, um, so he wrote these books and we're trying to still giving them out, you know? Yeah. So, but this book's, you know, it's about uh, karma reincarnation, okay. meditation, um, you know, and about more more of a deeper meaning about life than what we think it is. Oh. And this one as well, science self-realization, yeah. so more about the soul. This is more about... Are you giving them for free? We don't sell them because we're monks. Yeah. Uh, all we do is we start for a small donation because we um, mm. just just to help us so we can carry on. Uh, I've got a few from because like, I talk I've talked to a few of your, okay. your guys, you know. But I'm intrigued that you know you you were brought up in it. Yeah, yeah. So how old are you now? You look about seventeen. I'm twenty. Which one? Yeah, I look younger. You do. Anyway, you like vegetarian diet. Thing I have the same thing. Are you from America? I am originally. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. He the first country he went to was America. Really? New York. Yeah. Okay. But, um, so the, in, in the, the fact that you grew up in it means that really you haven't explored anything outside I have. of Hare Krishna, they never, or have you? They never pushed me. I have, but um, you know, the every every question, even my friend there, he's Muslim, right? Uh, yeah. Then we have Christians that came into religion because every question, every an, every question you have has an answer to the fact: what does God look like? You know, why are we here? Yeah. Not it's, some other religions are very. The the answers are very. Um, basic if you know what I mean you know if we don't do this we go to heaven or hell there's, there's so much more meaning to it which there's which no tells heaven you or books. hell in the Krishna consciousness then no there there is the, you know the ultimate goal while we're here is to go back to be with Krishna yeah. that we there's a whole there's a whole there's so much more to it than we know why, why are we here then why he, why wouldn't he create us with him in forever in the first place just read this book sir it will tell you everything it's science self-realization so it's about the soul and it gives you everything but every... if you could tell me in a nutshell I mean in a nutshell yeah so uh, so what was the question why, why are we here why are we if here we're meant to be with Krishna because uh, this is what I heard we originally were with him but we came we wanted to enjoy we yeah. wanted to be the enjoyers instead of uh, we wanted to enjoy for ourselves so it's like we've come here and he's gone okay you can enjoy now um, you know so we can we try find girlfriends we try find this we try find material happiness mm. but actually we're never material we're never happy if we try to find material happiness I don't know, I don't know if you've experienced it but everyone has if when I, when I was trying to find um, happiness with material things you know so with a girl or go partying you're never satisfied after it you're like oh is that it but with spiritual happiness mm. after we do certain things like we chant we do kirtan, which is you sing and you dance around in front of the Are you saying deities. to me chanting is better than sex? You, a 20-year-old guy, you, yeah. you were saying that to yeah. me. No, no, Actually, I'm practicing celibacy it, right now. So I'm staying in the temple and uh, really read these books. Uh, well, I, I, I admire it because I know at your age, I would not be able to give yeah, up, yeah. you know, sex for yeah, yeah, chanting. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, no, it just, the reason why we do it is because it makes you physically stronger, mentally stronger, your consciousness uh, improves. Yeah. And uh, yeah. read one of these books. You can, um, yeah, take one of them. I don't have actual change, or I just have credit cards on me. Oh, really? But, I mean, I do have some of your books at home. Do you um, have any of these? Not these ones. I don't know. Take this. This is very important. My friend, he became Hare Krishna five months ago. This is the first book no, he read. I don't know if I would read it. Uh, you should. He, he read it as the first book he read. Now he's living in the temple. Mm. I'm not saying you would as well, but it's a really, really powerful book. I know you're looking for donations, so you should hold on to this till you get a donation from something, because I don't have any actual change. There's a cash machine. Just, I want you to read this, sir. You seem very open-minded. 
I am. I don't know if I would read an entire book. I'd it doesn't rather... matter. Even if you read one page, you'll make my day. Seriously, <laughs> seriously. But I have got some of your books at home. So. But not this one. Yeah, I don't know. Well, well, maybe. How long are you going to be here? Uh, two, two, three hours. Yeah. There's a cash point there if you just want to just get anything out, anything small. Yeah, well, um, I don't know, possibly. You know, we don't, we're, not, we're not trying to sell, we're trying to help society by giving books out. Yeah. But we just ask for small donations so we can carry on doing it. But have you ever thought, oh, well, I think I'm going to just step outside the Harry Christian world for I was, a while. I was, that's what I was doing. But look at Christianity, yeah, look I was at atheism. Yeah, yeah, I did. Yeah. And then I thought... But doesn't it seem a bit coincidence that you went right back to where you were brought up? No. No? Because a lot of Christians do that. They, they leave Christianity and then come back. Really? To the same denomination they left. I just, I just think uh, this religion has every answer. It's incredible. You should seriously look into it. And it's not just chanting the name of God over no, and over again. loads of different things. Because I would get bored very quickly. It's, no, I promise you, loads of different things. Yeah. You could, if you read one of these books, they had the address of the temples. Come check it out sometimes. Guests come, they love it. They have fun. We show them around. There's. I am planning on it. Really? I wow. honestly am because wow, I wow. know there's, there's a bus from down there that goes. There's a small there. book we have called "Trying to Be Happy." Very small. I've got that one, yeah. You have it. Have you yeah. read it? It's an interview with George Harrison. It's very nice. It's. I've got so many of these books from people on the street. It's just yeah, yeah. getting around Just come to it. the temple. Bring it and come to the temple and someone will show you around. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. we don't just chant. Like, uh, maybe, uh, you know, you don't, as long as you're in the... As long as you just understand the philosophy, that's a good, that's a perfect start. Then from there, you can start to chant. A year ago, I was chanting one round a day, so I was chanting for five minutes a day. Mm. Then I developed more of a taste for it. Now I'm doing two hours a day. Wow. And um, there's so many different activities, you know. So are you less stressed than you say the nor the, the yeah, average definitely. twenty year old? Or? Yeah. Not the twenty year olds because, are that stressed. Because but. the diff the reason why, <laughs> even two years ago, I was more stressed because I thought this was me, you know. Yeah. When really, even my dad, I speak, to him, he's sixty now, right? Yeah. He said it felt like yesterday he was twenty and your body looks completely different. So our body's always changing. Look how different you look from when you were a little kid. Yeah. yeah so yeah. the fact that when you can understand that relieves a lot of stress. Yeah. And uh, it takes a lot of weight off your shoulders. So you, you don't have ultimately, any... Ultimately, every, every, every single person here, yeah. their mindset, they think they're gonna live for, you know, for a very, very long time. The, the reality is everyone here is gonna die. But yeah. the real question is, where do you go after? Yeah. Right? And that's what this book tells you. Does it tell you about why there's pain and suffering in the world? Why yeah. there's disease? Yeah. Why there's earthquakes yeah. and all yeah. that? It's all to do with karma reincarnation, and, and which is about both these books, Ooh. say it. So yeah, seriously, sir, if you can get money and just a little bit to come back and take the book, I'd be so happy because this book, I'd recommend this book mm. to start off with, even though you already have some. What's that around your neck? Which one? This one? The reincarnation of, of God, Krishna, yeah. into a half lion, a half man, yeah. in order to kill this one demon. Is this something that really happened? Yeah. Take one of these books sir, and read it. To get some change, I mean, okay, some money out. Sure. Well, I'll be, I I'll be around here. Yeah. Will you accept a two-pound coin? Yeah. That's all I. That's all I got left after well, my. Well, I'll get. I'll show you all the books we have. Um, there was one particular one you wanted me to have, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, there's the smaller books which have the same knowledge of it. Okay. It's still um, you know. Yeah. It's just more, uh, the reason why they're bigger is because there's, um, they're verses. Yeah. Whereas this is just personal, it's like more of a, um, what's the word? Like a, what's a narration? You know, just, just a like. A summary. Yeah, like, there, there you okay. go, yeah. All right. So, you can choose. This, I don't know if you said you had this one. I do have that one. Yeah. Okay, and you have this one? Bugger, you don't have that. Okay, what about this one? King of Knowledge. Uh, no, I don't know that one. So, sh you're sure I'm not missing out on what's in the blue book? No, the reason, they, because of printing fees, so we can keep giving them out, they say minimum three pound. Oh, oh, I see, okay. Well, that's some nice pictures in it. But uh, this book just tells you about, you know, it's, it's, it's look, as you can see, the, the, the King of Knowledge and this, it's similar, very, it's just, this is more bigger book. I yeah. can, it, it, which has like verses in it. And, the science, was this the science of self-realization? Self -realization. So you do employ science in, in the belief system, in your, in your faith? This is, this, is, this is like, when they say the science of self-realization, it means the science behind it, as in like the, the proper, not like uh, basic science. But it's a very nice book. I really want you to have this, but oh man, yeah. you only have two pounds. 
That's all I've got left after today's shopping. Oh, really? I only have a, obviously have a budget. It's okay, I'll start with this one, and uh, if you're around next week, maybe perhaps I'll... Are you sure? I'm always in the high street, like okay, almost cool. every day. Well, look, read this. Yeah. Let me see, let me see if it has the... Um, yeah, here we go. Um, where is it? Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Where is it? Take that, come to temple. Maybe I can show you around the temple or someone yeah, who knows yeah. more. Yeah. Or if you call if you call someone yeah. from the temple and say you want to come, they might just come pick you up and take you a tour around the temple. Yeah, yeah, I heard that and they give you some vegetarian yeah, food. Yeah, for free. <laughs> free food, it's very nice. It's what I've been living yeah. off. Right, so you live there? I'm living there at the moment, yeah. Have you always lived there? No, no, the I've, just, I've just been there for two weeks so I've been trying to focus more. Yeah, oh, so that's, it really helps to be there amongst, amongst everyone. Yeah. Oh, so that's really interesting. Yeah, I really like to see it. There's some nice grounds in there as yeah, well. Yeah, very isn't nice. There? Cows, yeah. uh, they we look after them. It's very nice. So yeah, read that, and they the, um, have the address. Give the temple a call and and come come for a visit. Uh, yeah, hey, my man. Thanks a lot. Sir. You're okay.